Hi guys, I'm Ian Gilmore, owner of Redline Engineering. I'm here in our shop today to show you how to change out the back tire on a motorcycle with all of the common tools that we sell on our website. I've got my DRZ uh, 400SM here sitting on top of a Titan 300 pound scissor motocross lift. I've got a uh, pit posse uh, standard wheel balancing stand. I've got a pit posse tire changing stand. This stand comes with a small uh, uh, dismount head that you'd use on like a 50cc bike, scooter, stuff like that. Obviously not going to use that today. I've got a uh, Redline Engineering bead breaker stand. Uh, this is not really a mandatory item, but it's going to make the process uh, so much quicker and easier that it's, it's well worth the little money that, uh, that it costs. Uh, I've got a couple of extra tools that you're going to need. This is a three-piece uh, Pit Posse assorted tire iron kit. Got a set of uh, rim protectors that are going to keep us from killing the uh, the edge of the rim today. Stick on wheel weights. Got a uh, valve stem removal tool, and uh, it's really handy to have a uh, just a bottle of soapy water handy for helping this this tire slide off of the rim. And uh, of course, you need all your common hand tools. And uh, so that's everything that we've got here. I'm about to get started, so let's do it. First thing we need to do is remove the uh, valve stem out of the tire. Just going to take this uh, little valve stem removal tool and pull the valve stem out of here. Let all the air out of the tire. Okay, so now I've got my valve stem removed from the wheel. There's no longer any air in there. Now it's time to break the bead. I'm going to take a cardboard box and set it down in place here just to keep from scratching my tire changer and my wheel. I can handle up. Having a, a bead breaker makes all the difference in doing this. If you go to do this job without a bead breaker, you'll find out real quick that this is a, this is a lot of trouble to do without one. So all you got to do is uh, push down on the handle. You hear that pop? That's the bead breaking. Now I'm just going to turn the tire a little bit and continue the process all the way around. And you just complete this process on both sides until the bead is broke. Now I'm just going to flip it over and do the opposite side. Okay, so now it's time to begin dismounting the tire from the wheel. I've went ahead and taken a, ma a piece of masking tape and put an arrow on here pointing in this direction to correspond with the arrow that's right here on the side of the tire. You'll do yourself a favor to put that on there so that as you're putting the new tire back in place, there's no question as to how things are supposed to go. So, I take my rim protectors here. All you do is slide these over the edge. I like to take the tire irons uh, the, 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 that have the little hooked end right there. Go ahead and set all three of them in place. Uh, where you're right around the edges just like that and then I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the tire out around the wheel. Okay, now with that done I'm going to remove my center uh, iron here. This is where it comes in handy if you've got extra rim protectors. You can get away with one set here, but you'll do yourself a favor in the future to go ahead and get, uh, you know, uh, three, maybe even four rim protectors. So now I'm going to jab this iron down in place. And then bring it out around the wheel. And as you do this, you can then take the center irons back out. Eventually, you'll get to the point that you've got enough of the tire removed. You can just grab onto the tire, stand on the tire changing stand, and then pull up and pull the tire right off of the wheel. And now it's loose on that side, so we'll flip it over and then do the other side. This tire turned out to have a tube inside of it, so before taking the, the tire the rest of the way off of the rim, I've got to remove this tube. So all you do is remove this nut that holds the valve stem in place and at that time it's pretty easy to take the tube out because you've already removed all of the air out of it in the beginning so 
just going to grab this tube, kind of pick up on the tire a little bit, and just pull it out. This is important that you do this before you proceed to dismount the rest of the tire from the wheel because you, the last thing you want to do is get your tire irons in there and uh, destroy your tube and put a hole in it. Okay, so now that I've got the rim flipped over, it's time to take the tire the rest of the way off of the wheel. All you got to do is get uh, three tire irons, spoons, any of these type tools will work for this. Go ahead and put them in place before you start trying to pry on the tire. Extra set of hands will help you here, but this, this can be done by just one guy. I'm just going to push over, like so. Do it again over here. Take out your center iron. And then come over here and repeat the process. See here if I can get away with just pushing it off the wheel at this point. I might be able to. You grab some uh, some soapy water. Help that thing slide over it and push. And that's that. Okay, so now it's time to put the new tire on. And this is this is going to be a fight. But I'm going to start by spraying soapy water all over the inside of the wheel and the tire. And then we're basically just going to kind of force the tire on there through the first portion here. So And that's that. Now we'll begin the next part. Okay, the next part is to put your tube back inside the tire. Hopefully you remembered to line up the arrow on the tire with the arrow that you put on the wheel. The easiest way to do this is to kind of do it upside down if you will. Go ahead and put your uh, your valve stem through here. In order to keep that from moving I'm gonna go ahead and put the nut back in place now. And tighten that nut. Doesn't need to be super tight. Alright, and now what you want to do is just kind of pick up your wheel at about the halfway point there so that you've got some space where you can get this tire, excuse me, this this tube back inside the tire. It's easier to get the tube in from the other side if you were to do this with the tire upside down from the way it is now, but it's much more difficult to get the valve stem to come through at that point. So I think this is the easiest way to do it that I'm showing you here. Almost there. Okay, and now we can proceed to remount the tire back to the wheel. Okay, so I flip my tire back over again. Now I'm going to go through the same process again in reverse. Get everything, get the wheel and the tire soaked up real good. Alrighty. Now, I'm just going to kind of stand on the tire changing stand, and I'm going to push the tire as far onto the rim as I can get it. 
without having to use any uh, any irons. All right, now it's time to start using some irons. So what I'm gonna do is kind of put one in over here, put one in over here on each side. Kind of have to do them together. If you were to just do one side, it would just flop up on the other side. Here's where an extra set of hands does come in handy to try and hold that extra tire iron when you go to grab the third. And there's no there's no standard set way to do this. You just kind of have to develop what works for you. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I've had to skip ahead now and show you that the tire is finally mounted to the wheel. That last little bit of getting that tire around the wheel took long enough that it couldn't be in the video because the video would just be too long. So now let's uh, head over to the bench and show you uh, balancing the wheel using the standard wheel balancing stand. Okay, so it's time to balance our tire and wheel using the Pit Posse standard wheel balancing stand. This stand comes with a centering rod and cone kit that you see here. And all you've got to do is slide this kit through the, uh, the center of the wheel here. Take your centering cone. I'm going to take this little Allen wrench here that allows us to adjust the, the width of it so it can work on different size tires and wheels. I'm going to run that right up inside there. And with pressure on it, keeping it tight, I'm just going to tighten this, uh, tighten this little uh, <clears throat> Allen head, and make sure that there's no play. There's not. So now you just uh, <clears throat> set it on here, and if the wheel has got a heavy side to it, it will fall towards the bottom. Just want to rotate it here and check it in a, a couple of different ways. If, a, if, if the heavy side of the wheel falls towards the bottom, all you got to do is take a stick on wheel weight, put it on the top, repeat the process where you take what was the heavy side of the wheel, rotate it back up to the top, and if it, if it falls to the bottom again, then you repeat the process with another weight. This wheel here uh, isn't moving at all, and so this tells us that the wheel is, uh, is properly balanced, and we're good to go. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our video. I hope this was helpful to you and speeds the process of changing your own tires and saving you money. Take care.